Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Kelly LaBelle here. I know there's a lot of new people here from since the last time I posted, so thank you for subscribing and welcome to the family. Today I filmed the everyday drugstore makeup look, so that's what you're looking at right now. And if you're interested, keep on watching but before we get into the tutorial let's get into this introduction welcome back guys so today I'm starting off with my brows and I'm using the LA girl shady slim brow pencil in the shade dark brown no actually that's blackest brown forgive me so I'm using the spoolie at the end and I'm just brushing my eyebrows up to get started and then I'm gonna start by filling in my brows I'm lining the bottom of my brows now as you can see I have very very thin eyebrows so I have to work my magic with my hands to you know give myself a little brow you gotta fake it till you make it okay I ain't got no shame so yeah and i'm using my other hand to kind of stretch it out this just helps me be a little bit more precise when i'm doing my brow and yeah it's pretty easy i don't know if you guys want a more in-depth brow tutorial i could do that but i'm just going through this really quick and getting these brows filled in So once that's done, I'm gonna clean it up and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm just gonna go underneath my brows and fill it up a little and fix any mistakes that I may have done while um, filling it in. And I'm also just pulling that concealer down on my eyelids a little bit, which will kind of serve um well not as eyeshadow base really because i'm not using eyeshadow today but if you were wearing eyeshadow that's what it would be used for but kind of just to neutralize my eyelids and i'm just being really precise this clip is sped up a little bit so um i'm not going as fast as it looks like i'm going and then i'm also doing that on the top of my brows and i'm just you know lining it up giving it a cute little shape i'm sure you guys have seen this done many many times before um, and then once I'm done doing that I'm just gonna blend out that concealer because you know it's looking a little bright um, and sometimes I usually just use my foundation color for this so that there's not much blending to do which if you're a beginner that's exactly what you should do but if you've been at this for a while you probably know how to blend so go on and do your thing so I'm using a sponge to do that. The sponge is from e.l.f. and it was probably like $3 and it is just so soft and it blends so perfectly. Now this is where this video goes south but I promise you stay with me. I ended up fixing it. So I'm using this BB cream from LA Girl and I know y'all can see that this is way too light for me but you know this is just me being stubborn pretending like I don't see this mind you I didn't even bother to prime my face so I was truly in shambles and just not realizing my sins so here I am blending in this casket ready BB cream into my skin and pretending like I don't see that I look dead Okay, this is where I realized. <laughs> so I start laughing at myself because girl, girl. It's okay. I went and I wiped that off. Now we're starting over. I'm using e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I'm priming my skin. I'm definitely using way too much of this. I'm, I was still a little bit in my shambo spirit, but I promise you, we'll get there. It doesn't matter that I use too much. It ain't gonna mess me up. So really, really love this primer. It'll make your foundation, your BB cream or whatever look really, really good. And I've been using this for a while and I don't wanna use any other primer. And on top of that, I'm using my LA Girl Primer Spray. Um, these two pair together really, really well and I'm just gonna spray that onto my skin before I properly, properly 
do my base it was a joke before now we're getting serious so this is the um, BB cream same one as before um, but this is in the shade deep I believe the one from earlier was like medium deep this is deep um, this is my proper shade so um, I know some people don't like using foundation because it's too heavy yada 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 um, this is a perfect alternative it's like a light foundation it's called BB cream um, personally in my head I still consider this foundation but I've seen some people on Twitter like oh um, this is I didn't use any foundation for my makeup and then they use a whole BB cream I'm like girl that's basically foundation but you know what I'm minding my business whatever <laughs> moving on I'm blending that in with that very same sponge you can use a brush for this step if you want but I'm using a sponge and um, because this is very light coverage I'm going in on some parts that I had some like dark spots from previous pimples and I'm just adding a second layer so that those could be covered up properly so like BB creams are really good if your skin is almost already clear and you don't have too many blemishes because it's not too much coverage and if you need coverage just use a foundation okay stop lying to yourself use a full coverage foundation and go from there now to highlight and contour I'm using my LA girl pro conceal concealer um, in the shade fawn like earlier and the contour is in the shade dark cocoa so I'm starting off by applying my highlight first and I'm going in underneath my eyes and you know the typical places that you would usually apply your highlight you know bridge of my nose forehead uh, my chin and my little mustache area because you know we all got that five o'clock shadow I know some of y'all be trying to ignore it but just because you ignore it doesn't mean it's not there we see it okay so go ahead and conceal that so we ain't got no problem okay okay So once I'm done applying my highlight, I don't go in and blend it right away. I rather just apply my contour and I'm just applying a teeny weeny bit of that because it's really, really dark and I don't want it to look like some type of chin strap or a beard. So I only add a little bit and I blend that out right away with that same sponge that I use for my foundation. Um, yeah, I'm not really using too many brushes or tools in this. This one sponge is getting me through the day. And I know a lot of y'all really like that so that you don't want to you don't have to buy 11 brushes to make it through so I'm using whatever's left on the sponge around my hairline and underneath my chin also just to give it a little bit of shadow even though I didn't directly add contour there and once I'm done that that's when I go in and I blend in that concealer that highlight from earlier and I start with my chin then I do um, my little you know mustache area um, then my forehead then my nose and lastly I blend underneath my eyes I do this last because I like to give the concealer a little bit of time to set in and dry down a little underneath my eyes and you just get more coverage that way I learned this trick from Jackie Ina sis does not lie okay she does not lie so go on and try this you get more coverage out of your concealer and it looks really really good and I know y'all can see how well blended that is okay take your time and just make sure you're blending out all of the edges and making everything look really really seamless i put a little bit of concealer on top of my eyelids too um because um, my eyelids are dark um like most people's anyways so just do that so everything looks really really blended
So whatever is left on the sponge, I'm using to do a reverse contour and to sharpen up my contour. But I'm definitely going in and blending this in because we don't want no harsh lines. I keep telling y'all, blending is your friend. So to set all of that, I'm using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I love this stuff and I've had this same jar for like three years, okay? It lasts a long time. So I'm using same sponge, y'all. We have only used this one sponge for our base. And I'm setting all those areas that I highlighted, but I do not bake, okay? Um, I stopped doing that, okay, a long time ago. I'm setting this in immediately after I apply it. I just blend it in with that same sponge and I push it into my skin. I just prefer it that way. If you're still baking in 2020, that is your business. You can take that up with God. I ain't gonna judge you, do you? But that's not for me no more. Like this, look at my complexion right now. My skin looks so, so good with a BB cream and some concealer. And these are all drugstore products. So you can find this at the beauty supply, your local Walmart or whatever, or from these companies' websites. But as you can see, I'm using mostly LA Girl because really when it comes to drugstore, that's just my favorite brand and it's just really accessible. Um, and easy to find for me so I own a lot of LA girl products and if you're just starting out in makeup go ahead and grab these because for the low low you could look really really cute okay So I also go in and I apply some powder to my eyebrows because I have really oily brows and I don't like when they be looking shiny so I just tap some powder into them just so they'll be, you know, a little matte. So next up I'm using eyeliner and I'm using the LA Girl Glide Eye Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. The, the LA Girl um, eyeliners are really, really good and they glide on so, so smooth. I really love using these on my clients because there's no like tugging on their eyes. And you know people with sensitive eyes when they, their eyes start like batting or watering. Um, using this, their eyes do not have a chance to do this because I get it on them really, really quick with no resistance. So try to get your hands on these. They're really inexpensive and really really good quality so I'm lining my waterline with this and then I'm gonna line the top of my eye I'm not winging it out or anything I'm just um, I'm gonna be wearing lashes today um, so I just want to conceal the lash band a little so I'm just applying that to the top of my eyelid if you don't wear lashes then you could just skip this step um, I also won't be showing the clip of me applying my lashes because it was a hot mess today and y'all don't deserve to see that so I'm not gonna insult you by showing you that. So yeah. Next up, I'm applying mascara. This is from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Luscious mascara in the shade I believe this is dark brown I prefer like some of my eye products to be on the dark brown side rather than black because it just makes it a little bit less harsh especially if you're going for like an everyday makeup look if you start applying like black eyeliner black mascara you start looking just a little gothic and you know if that's your look I'm okay with it but this is an alternative So I'm doing my top lashes and I'm also going to do my bottom lashes just to keep everything looking even, you know.
so next up i'm gonna apply my lashes like i already told you guys i deleted those clips because it did not look good but i'm using my duo eyelash glue and these lashes from aliexpress and now they're on look at that how magical um so i'm just doing a little dance because you know it was a struggle but i finally got those lashes on next i'm gonna bronze my face i'm using the elf bronzer palette and as you can see i've dug into this a lot but you know it ain't done yet it ain't done so i'm just hitting my cheeks with that and you know doing the little fish face so it can tell me exactly where to apply this a little bit around my forehead just like we did earlier with our contour you know this stuff's pretty straightforward i'd like to think Next up, I'm highlighting my face. I somehow forgot to get a clip of this highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I'll have the shade listed in the description box below because I don't have this beside me right now. But I'm just applying that to the tip of my nose, my cheeks, my cupid's bow, forehead, you know, all those high points of our of my face and now for the lips I'm using LA girl lip liner and cappuccino and LA girl glossy plumping lip gloss and the shade luscious I'm lining my lips very very carefully with that lip liner I really love the shade it goes really well with like any nude you're trying to wear it just makes it blend so seamlessly um, I also love the shade chocolate I switch back and forth between those two but if you're looking for inexpensive brown lip liners LA girl got you okay And I do like a defined cupid's bow, so I'm just taking a little bit more time there and making sure it's really well defined. And I'm blending the lip liner in a little bit. After that, I'm following it up with my lip gloss. These um, are really pigmented. They're not like clear lip glosses. The, the color definitely shows. They're very opaque. And yeah, I'm blending that in with the lip liner. And those are the lips to finish off i'm using the la girl setting spray uh-huh la girl and i'm just drenching my face in that i love a dewy look um more to a matte look so i'm spraying a whole bunch of this on my face because i want it to look you know very skin like very dewy you know, a little bit more mm -hmm. And yeah, that's the look, you know, just little subtle everyday makeup type of thing. And um, these braids cannot go, so we're gonna change that right now. Oh, hey girl. <laughs> so yeah, I just unbraided those, did a little braid out. Um, it was unplanned, but shoot, it still looks good. I'm just fluffing it up a little bit to give myself some volume. And yeah, that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.